Welcome back party people. My name is Daryl Wilson and today I'll be showing you how to turn your WordPress dashboard from this to something like this. Now there's a lot of features this plugin offers that I wish WordPress had by default. So for example, with this plugin, you can actually rename the content on the left side. So instead of blog post, you can put write post. And guys, this is great for clients because clients are brain dead and they don't know anything about WordPress. So you can help direct them on what to do. So uh, this will be the blog post. You can put something like products, like make product, click here. And you can rename all these on the left side. Also, you can see the analytics. So you can actually integrate Google Analytics right on your dashboard. So your clients can always see their page speed, their page views and everything else. And I think that's really cool. They include the page speed and everything else just to let them know how their site is doing. Now, also what you can do with this plugin is that it, I wish WordPress had this by default is you can actually categorize the images on your WordPress website. So for example, in my library, you can see I have all these images and you can create specific folders and put each image inside of that folder to really help categorize the images in your WordPress website. So for example, I'll click on e-commerce, all of my e-commerce images will be there. And then for images for clients, all of my you know images for the clients will be there. And then I can just go ahead and add any folder I want and I can even change the color. So to download the free version, you'll go to admin2020.com and you'll click on buy now. It is a little confusing to get the, the free version. Uh, I won't lie, so it, I had trouble downloading it. And you'll go over here to light and then go to free and click on download. And then you'll go ahead and put in your first name, your last name, your email and your business number. And once you're done with that, you'll click on continue and then it'll give you the option to download the light version of this plugin. All right, so we installed the plugin and I activated it. Now, once you activate it, your WordPress dashboard and a lot of options will be very different. Now, one thing to note on the top right side, you have some options. So you can change this from dark mode, you can show the screen options and you can also hide WP links as well. There's also uh, other various options like show screen options and also view the websites. Now, whenever you wanna make a page or post or something, you can do it from right here. So new and then post or page. Now there are some other options that are kind of hard to find actually. It took me a while to find them, but on the bottom under settings, under admin 2020, go ahead and click on that. This will give you access to a lot more uh, features for this plugin. So we have the license. You can get the license from the website, it's free. And then we have the admin bar. So this will actually change the admin bar uh, on the top. You have menu, so this creates a new admin menu. So on the left side, you can customize the colors and you can also customize the backgrounds. And then for theme, this will actually give you the default style of the back end. So you can actually customize the colors, you can add logos. And then a really cool feature is the style of the admin login page. Now you can style the admin login page and it does look really nice. And I'll just give you a brief example of it. Now I'll go to the actual websites and this is how users can log in. And of course you can change your login so it'll look really professional. And overall, I do like this style. It's very user friendly. So now let's talk about the pro version. The pro version offers around three different uh, pricing options. We have single site, agency, and lifetime. It really depends on what you wanna do. I think probably agency is the best. But if you just want to get started with a single website, you can do that as well. Now, before you buy it, uh, I'll go ahead and show you a brief overview about it just to see if it's for you or not. I know people out there might not want to purchase the pro version. All right, so I activated the pro version. Now, this is the upgrade from the pro. So one thing you can do is click on analytics and you can connect your Google Analytics within your dashboard. You can also hide specific analytics that you don't want your uh, client to see. So you can go say, hey, I don't want them to see the country or visit by page or any of these other options. And then you can click on save just to make sure that that's working. And on the top right side, these are all, all the same. There's nothing new. So, but again, if you wanna change it to, to dark scheme, I like the way this looks. I just think it looks really, really nice. Now, let me talk about the other options that I think are pretty useful. Now, one of them is the actual content. So on the content on the left side, you now have the option to make folders. So you can click on folder and this will be Daryl and I'll have a green little icon and I'll click on create. And all right, you created, are you done? All right, good. And then what we can do is um, under media, you'll say, all right, uh, I want this image to be under Daryl and we'll drag and drop it. And then we can go ahead and just drag all the images that you want within that specific folder. I do like the drag and drop uh, interface. I think that makes it really fluid and really easy to use. And let's click on the bottom left now under settings and we'll go to admin 2020. 
So now you'll see that we have different options. We have a menu editor, we have advanced, we have content and analytics. And again, this is where you're going to uh, put in your Google Analytics. So next we have overview and the overview option is right here. And you can actually disable that for specific users if you want to go that route. You can also add videos to your overview page. That's actually useful for people who are um, like a customer and you wanna give them like a training video or something like that. You can put that on the overview options, which is pretty helpful. You have folders, you can disable that for specific users, login. So again, this is the same option. You can go ahead and put in the admin logo and everything else as before. So in a nutshell, you do have a lot more features with the pro version and you can access them all from the settings. Now, let me go ahead and show you the menu editor now. So with the menu editor, you can actually design each specific element on the left side. For example, we have media. I'll click on the media, the plus icon, and I'll change this to pictures and uh, I'll click on save. And voila, now we have pictures instead of media. And then what you can also do is you can add a specific um, icon and you can also hide this for specific roles. So if you don't want your client to see something, you can actually hide it and just not let them see what you're working on, which I know can be very helpful because clients ruin everything. And then they have a sub menu here as well. You can add in a sub menu and just add different options on the menu on the left side if you wanna go that route. Now there were just a few cons with this plugin. I don't wanna make everything sound like peaches and cream. Uh, on the home for the dark mode, you really can't see some of the notices. So uh, that's just because they have it in a different format, I guess, or there's something wrong with the plugin. But uh, that was the only thing that I saw. The other things all work just fine. Uh, one other thing too, under the plugins and clicking on add new, uh, the plugin text is a little scrunched. And what I mean is now you'll see how it's a little scrunched, but you can fix this by just closing that and that would be it. So those are the only things that I saw that might've been a small drawback of the plugin. But overall, I think it's a very cool plugin. It's very useful. And if you wanna try to add this on your WordPress website, go bonkers. I think they did give me a discount code. And if they did, I will leave that in the description below of this video. My name is Daryl Wilson and I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.